Hello friends, welcome to Infinity GP channel. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to the channel to see more cricket related contents. It's a new day in Adelaide, but not much has changed for these two teams. Just as in Brisbane last week, just as was the case four years ago, just as in 2013-14, Australia have this test in a chokehold, and it seems like a matter of when, not if. Joe Root will not take the field at the start of play, after being struck in the abdomen while facing throwdowns during England's warm-up. He is currently being assessed by the medical team, Ben Stokes will lead the side in Root's absence. Early drama at Adelaide Oval. Two and three balls, England make early inroads, and it's the old firm, James Anderson and Stuart Broad, doing the damage. Nasser didn't get beyond the second over, as Anderson nipped one back through the gate to hit the top of middle stump. Broad then extracted Marcus Harris via the outside edge and a screamer of a catch from Joe's Butler, flying one-handed to his left. And then Broad found Stephen Smith's outside edge first ball, only for Butler to shell his third catch of the match. He had just taken an absolute screamer, too. But this time, a sharp chance going to his right, it hit the palm of the glove and went down. Joe's Butler is in the thick of it again, holding on to another difficult chance to remove Smith cheaply in fact, that is Smith's first single-digit score against England in 14 innings. Ollie Robinson was the bowler to remove the stand in Australia captain, Smith walking after tickling a glove down the leg side. Butler had to go low to his left, and managed to cling on to the ball with the fingertips of one hand. This game is moving on. It might be an one-over experiment, since Joe Root has just returned to the field to take over the reins, but Ali Robinson has just delivered a capable over a flighted off spin. Yes, you heard that right. England claimed three wickets in an action-packed first hour before a counter-punching knock from Travis Head, in partnership with the prolific Marnus Labuachain, helped shore up Australia's position in the Adelaide Test. At dinner, Australia had extended their lead beyond 350. Travers had brought up an attacking half-century off just 49 balls. Aggressive again, just as during his 85-ball hundred at the Gabba, and it has reasserted Australia's sense of dominance in Adelaide. Head doesn't last much longer, though you sense Australia are just winding up to unleash on England with the ball again. Dug in short by Robinson and he hooks in the air, high towards the mid-wicket boundary, where Stokes sprints into view and then throws himself full length to take a brilliant diving catch a few inches from the turf. Gets up, tosses the ball away, Casual as you like. Clear signs of intent from Australia, Labuachain stepping out to loft Robinson over Midon and Cameron Green, the new batter, tipping and running energetically. England have turned to Dawid Milne's leg east for a spell. Marnus Labuachain reaches 50 for the second time this match. In 11 test innings against England, he has 750 plus scores. Labuachain falls looking to get the scoreboard rattling, slog sweeping straight to deep mid wicket, and Malin got his first test wicket, four and a half years after making his debut, a century and a fifty in the match for Labuachain, who walks off to applause around Adelaide Oval. England steadily whittling their way through the innings here, root into the attack and he gets a wicket straight away, carry chopping onto his stumps, a bonus for the captain. Stark is going to carry on for now, but he had to be visited by the physio after seemingly tweaking a muscle in his back having a swing at Root's off spin. He popped a couple of pills, and Smith will be hoping there's no damage to his attack leader. Stark in some discomfort before he holes out in the deep, no sign of a declaration yet with Australia's lead at 453 with two wickets left. Jai Richardson plinks a big top edge into the leg side, one ball after fetching Malin into the stands, and Smith signals them in. That means England have been set 468 to win or, more realistically, 134 overs to survive for a draw. Australia strike early, continuing a theme, England's first wicket has been worth 0, 23, 7 and 4 in the series so far, and Jai Richardson has his first test wicket since 2019. Hasib Hamid was the man to depart, caught behind for a duck and continuing a woeful series for England's openers. Nasser brought the breakthrough for Australia. Just a few balls after Smith had dropped Malin, only Australia's second shelled catch of the series. Just a bit of nip back in from round the wicket, smacked on the knee roll, Malin looked doubtful and reviewed, only to get three reds for his trouble. Another England record falls to Joe Root. Most runs as England test captain. Another one down, Richardson strikes again. Australia have finally chiseled out Burns for a fighting 34. Angled in from round the wicket, can't it seem and it scrambles and devious enough to hit the outside edge, well taken down low at second slip by Smith. England 3 down. Poor Joe Root, his day started with a groin strike, it ends with a groin related dismissal.
Caught behind to Mitchell Starcy's final ball of the day, having battled to the close after taking another painful blow amidships. His departure leaves England four down for 82, and staring at a 2-0 defeat in tomorrow's final day. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and comment on what kind of cricket-related videos you are looking for.